this surgical shoe up here. Um, it, it sounds so good when you say my name, Sharon. I didn't know you had all that broadcast voice. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much for you all inviting me. And I first want to commend Comcast um, for its, um, its commitment to digital access, to digital inclusion, and, and for helping Philadelphia um, tell its story. And this certainly is one of those efforts. Um, really, I, I got on the website recently, and when I looked at it, I said, like, OK, I get it now. This is a place where Philadelphians can tell their stories and share their stories. I, have to admit I wasn't so clear before. But what it's also doing is it's addressing and providing um, a non-traditional sort of media approach to covering these stories and stories that, as the website suggests, sometimes get lost in the shuffle. So thank you very much, Comcast, um, and thank you all for being here. So I became aware of the power of, um, or of digital tools um, really through my work uh, primarily in education and supporting young people in their transition to careers and to, and to post-secondary education, but also work on an initiative that Sharon mentioned called Digital On Ramps. Uh, Digital On Ramps um, will is being is is, is a, a, a land based and mobile digital network that's being designed to provide uh, learning and workforce training uh, support to adults and youth um, who, who are disconnected to the labor market. And so this use of digital technology to not only provide basic skills to Philadelphians who've been sort of fallen through have fallen through the gaps, um, as well as um, provide it at a scale that we can't one-on-one -on -one, um, is very, very critical. So I've learned a lot about, about um, digital technology through that particular work, but I've also learned um, a lot through the kids that we work with at Philadelphia Academies every day. Um, they are as, you know, they've been described as digital natives, and so I think they've taught a lot to us about how to communicate with them. Um, short, lingo, you, spell, you, that kind of stuff. <laughs> and we're kind of getting it, and we're trying to get on, ball, get on the ball and, and find um, better ways to connect with them. Um, so this, to us, is another way to help kids produce content that I'm hoping that hoping this can also be used by um, young people in, in public high schools here in Philly, so I'm very excited to be here. The other reason I'm here um, is not just to talk about how I hope Philly and Focus is going to be the kind of digital glue to telling these stories, but I'm also here um, to introduce a guy I know really well um, who's going to tell you a little bit more about Philly and Focus. Um, so without any further, further ado, I'd like to introduce you to my husband, um, a lover of technology. Can any moment hold two blackberries and spin an iPhone on top of his head at one time. He's our 21st century mayor, Michael Nutter. <laughs> 